What's up guys, I'm back with a, uh, another video on the Yak Power System. It's gonna be how I have this to power my whole system without fitting it in this front hatch as it does not fit under the tub and I like having the tub in there. So I found a way to put it in the back of the kayak next to my H crate. I'm gonna show you how I did that, what I had to install, what I had to do to do that. Um, you guys can expect a full review of this entire Yak power system, probably a couple weeks or so. I took it out for the first time this past weekend. It works great, it's really convenient, it's really simple. And I like how small the switch is. It's not like one of those big bulky switches that you get off like Amazon or something like that. But So I'm gonna show you guys how I have this installed. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you guys that I installed two of these. It's just a SAE plug. So that's gonna be from my power pole. It's gonna run right off the back of here. Just run the wire right through here, plug it in. I'll be able to take it on and off if I decide to get another lighter kayak that, for rivers and stuff like that, then I can just take that off and put it on the other kayak or my boat or whatever. Makes it really easy to take on and off where the wires aren't run inside the hole. And then I installed this one right here. That one is for the battery box. And this right here is the adapter you have to use, well, you have to make to run your battery box off of a plug somewhere else other than directly into the switch. Now what this is, is this just a it's two of the SAE adapters, they come in a three pack. I got the three pack, you have to use two for this and then I'm using the other one for the power pole when I get it. But you just tie these together, but you have to do red to black and black to red. And I'll show you guys why you have to do that in order for this to work. But it just plugs in right here. And now I'm gonna show you guys the front. And this is why you're gonna have to. See this? This is the red side is the one that's supposed to go into the battery box or an adapter that takes it to the battery. But as you can see here, if you look, if you look on this black side, the red is on the right and the black is on the left. If you look down here, the black is on the right side and the red's on the left. So that's fine, but before you go into the battery box back there in the back, you're gonna to have to switch it back to the way it is. Hopefully that makes sense. You can see this is a power in. So it's an inverse plug. So when you plug this in, they cross over. So you have to cross them back over in the back, which is why you have to make this little adapter. And I'll show you guys that it does work here in a minute. Now, if you had it up here, these normally plug into these, which would be fine. That's the switch panel. But when you have it run all the way from back there to up here, that's why you're going to need to switch it back over. Now, it's fine, and I can I label this right, and then the one for the power pole is the L, but that's plugged into my number two right there. And I can switch these if I want to put the battery box on the other side and power pole on the other. All you got to do is flip these two around. You just got to remember which one you have. Now let's take this battery box. I usually run it on this side of the crate over here, over here to the side in that little space right here. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna walk around to the other side and show you how it works. Okay, so we're on the other side. We have the plug here and you just plug it directly in. Now, your, your red and black are back to normal because it switches up there in the front and then you have to switch it back here so everything runs fine now. You turn it on and then you can walk up here to the switch, hit the power button, see everything works fine. Here's the bow lights, the red and the green. And then you have your midship lights in them and my back lights for my uh, crate and everything. Yeah, that's all you have to do. So just make sure you do that when you do this right here. 
if you plan on putting it way back here and using like a this kind of plug that you drill into as like a, an extension to run your batteries in the back make sure you flip those Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you out. Just do not forget to flip those and make that little adapter. That was basically the whole purpose of making this video and show you how I ran the battery box in the back with one of these extensions that you plug into the hole and run the wire through the hole all the way up to the front. I like how compact the switch is, how basic it is, how nice and easy everything is to plug in with the SAE cables. It's a good system, and I hope you guys check it out. The links will be below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.